the U.S. Air Force has created hypersonic maneuvering missiles and mutant projectiles capable of morphing right in flight. The impossible became possible when American engineers demonstrated their new developments, which they spent half the military budget on. What did they manage to create? Just the world's first missile capable of changing shape mid-flight? This is a truly unique development worthy of your attention. The technology that was called Mutant is a special articulated joint that allows the missile to bend by up to 45%, thus changing the direction of flight. This breaks entirely new ground on maneuvering missiles. Of course, this unique apparatus caught the attention of the Air Force, as the Mutant is capable of destroying the latest and fastest targets, whether it's the latest generation of fighters or other ballistic missiles. Previously, it was necessary to use tricks, such as reducing speed or using rotary thrusters, but now it is enough to simply deploy the warhead for maneuvers. The new invention can even withstand temperatures up to 900 degrees Celsius. Theoretically, it can be made hypersonic, but a missile like that already exists. We will talk about it in the second part of the video. Now the main question remains, who will be able to use the mutant missiles? The answer becomes clear when you look at the F-35 Lightning II. The American engineers from Lockheed Martin Company are considered to be the experts for a reason, as they had dozens of planes, which were ahead of their time, fly from under their wing, and the F-35 is not an exception. The aircraft first flew in 2006, and its main feature is versatility. The Air Force, Marine Corps, and even the U.S. Navy all use this steel monster. In the standard variant, the F-35 has two maneuvering air-to-air -air missiles, two corrective bombs weighing 910 kilograms, and a 25-millimeter cannon. It might seem like this isn't enough, but you should see how skillfully it deals with the opponents. The F-35 was repeatedly criticized in the U.S. because of its high cost and combat performance. Even Donald Trump criticized the cost of the plane on Twitter, which reaches $100 million per unit. Even the head of the Pentagon was dissatisfied with the result. Since the program to develop the F-35 fighters is supposed to run until 2070, and its total cost estimated at $1.5 trillion. That is why the fighter had to be extensively upgraded to eradicate any competition. In the new version, the F-35 now has a significantly increased maneuverability thanks to the redesign of its layout. To make the fighter as effective as possible, it is necessary to extensively improve its control. After all, even the fastest vehicle will be garbage if its control is like launching a space shuttle. That's why the Lightning II has had a new onboard control system installed, which works in conjunction with self-learning artificial intelligence. It takes care of most of the piloting, adjusts flight systems, locks onto targets, and can even destroy targets on its own. Technically, there's no need for a pilot there at all, but they kept the pilot there just in case, since a human being performs certain actions more accurately. Stealth has also been increased significantly, all thanks to redesigning of the stealth systems. In addition to using the stealth cladding, the plane is equipped with a system that blocks 90% of the radars. The enemy will be incredibly lucky if they manage to spot the F-35 before it delivers its deadly blow. Now let's talk about the most important thing, weaponry. As it was already said, the F-35 will receive the mutant maneuvering missiles in the near future. But even without them, it can destroy all possible and impossible targets. A whole killing arsenal of various guns and shells comes to its help, but we are primarily interested in the missiles. Guided ASR AAM cruise missiles blasting at 3,900 kilometers per hour are able to take out the biggest air enemies. And if the target is on the ground, they'll get a really big AGM-158 that weighs a ton. It's designed to hit important, highly protected targets and does its job successfully even in the worst weather conditions. Let's think, what does it take to take down an enemy? Cool guns? High speed? Reaction? No, the first thing needed is to get its coordinates. To do that, people have been using radars, and it is almost impossible to shoot down modern airplanes without them. Now imagine what would happen if you took away the enemy's radars. That is exactly what the HARM anti-radar missile does. It is designed to just calculate and destroy enemy radars, and it does it incredibly well. Its sensors calculate the radar waves and find their source. Then the missile goes straight into the target at supersonic speed of 2600 kilometers per hour. 
This is a unique and promising area of weaponry that is worthy of attention, but hypersonic projectiles seem to be no less promising. No, it is not the same as supersonic. Just for better understanding, supersonic missiles fly at 2,000 to 4,000 kilometers per hour. This is surely amazing, but even such targets have already been shot down before. Hypersonic missiles, on the other hand, reach speeds of over 6,000 kilometers per hour. It is unthinkable, but true. This is the missile that was created by experts from the U.S. The Lockheed Martin Company presented the first in the history of America hypersonic missile under the name HAWC, which had already managed to excite all politicians around the world. So how does it work? It is claimed that the missile develops a speed of more than 10 Mach during the flight, which is equal to 12,000 kilometers per hour. To tell the truth, though, experts speculate that the figure might be overestimated by a couple thousand. But regardless, this is still the fastest projectile in the world. The HAWC can shoot down absolutely any targets, whether it is an enemy missile or a fighter of the sixth generation. In fact, it was actually designed to destroy the new generation of aircraft. It consists of a solid-fuel, air-launched missile in a hypersonic block with a rocket engine hidden under its cladding. According to engineers, the missile can also maneuver in the initial part of the flight. The test launch of the missile was conducted from the B-52 bomber, which shows that it can be used on older aircraft, even though it is best suited for a sixth-generation fighter. The Pentagon has long been talking about its need to improve its obsolete equipment. All previous aviation was rapidly losing relevance, and some projects were becoming completely unsuitable and unprofitable. Airspace control is absolutely critical in today's world, and it provides an opportunity to dominate during combat operations. The Pentagon understands this very well and has already presented us with its sixth-generation fighter, which has exceeded all expectations. Its name is the NGAD, and it's truly a unique aircraft. It combines the qualities of a fighter, interceptor, and bomber, and has the technology that could only be seen in science fiction movies before. The Northrop Grumman engineers tried to focus on the aircraft's defensive characteristics and comfort. It is stealthy, fast, and ergonomic as possible. For reconnaissance, the engineers developed a very powerful radar that emits waves around obstacles. It works in combination with innovative thermal sensors. It is used against targets that can't be seen visually, be it because of bad weather, smoke, obstacles, or for any other reason. In theory, it can even detect targets behind walls. The NGAD has another important advantage. When you're a sixth generation fighter pilot and you're operating at tremendous speed, it really gets hard to gather intelligence. The engineers understood this and have taken an innovative solution, an augmented reality helmet that transmits information from hundreds of fighter jet sensors straight into the pilot's head. This artificial intelligence system helps the pilot in situations where they can no longer perform their task normally. For example, when a person is under stress or completely blacked out. Thankfully, all bodily processes are also entered into the database of the aircraft. Thus, the smart helmet will collect a database of unique psychometric data of the specific pilot during the flight, which will allow the onboard computer to intervene and take over control. The main idea the creators of the NGAD had was to build a new fighter that can be easily improved. In the long run, it will be possible to constantly upgrade the vehicle with new features, as if it were a simple phone firmware update. The pilot can simply download the necessary settings and fly into combat on autopilot, knowing the aircraft is fully prepared for each specific task. And of course, nothing can beat the NGAD in terms of the weapon variety. These include the aforementioned HAWC hypersonic missiles and kamikaze drones, anti-satellite drones, and even long-range anti-tank missiles weighing 250 kilograms each. The weaponry is constantly being updated and changed depending on the task. With such a variety, the new fighter will be able to kill anyone whatsoever. And it's not even all of the U.S. developments. Just recently, Americans conducted the first successful open munitions test called Rapid Dragon. The MC-130J Special Purpose Transport Aircraft fired an operational cruise missile using a prototype of the new system, which subsequently hit a target floating in the Gulf of Mexico. With this test, the U.S. openly shows that the arms race continues, and they are preparing new and unique technologies. 
technologies. The Dragon Bomb launched on special pallets from the air is another promising development, which sparks interest with its simplicity and genius features, since it can be used to convert any aircraft from a simple transport aircraft into a deadly bomber. However, we won't reveal all of its aces, so if you want to know more about the unique features of the Dragon Bomb, as well as why it can become the most dangerous weapon in the world, then make sure to leave a like and a comment under this video. We'd love to share the coolest information about military technology with you, as our content is made for you. Thanks for watching, and see you soon!